Hi, this is our presentation on the top 100 most cited articles about cognitive and computational neuroscience um, using a bibliometric analysis of the top 100 cited literatures. My name is Monona. I go to Millsy Godwin High School, and my role is as uh, being a facilitator. Hi, everyone. My name is Alice. I attend UC Berkeley, and my role is co-facilitator. Um, hi, I'm Anshika Shaw. Um, I'm a supportive author and I go to Granada High School. I worked on the data research analysis. My name is Srikala Munakotla and I'm a rising senior at Amateur Valley High School. For this research paper, I worked on analyzing the data that was extracted and created the discussions and conclusions as well as the abstract. My name is Sripriya Kolbhavi and I'm a high schooler at Lindbrook High School in San Jose, California. I'm a co-author for this research paper. Hi, I'm Shorya Shah. I go to Deep Run High School, and I'm, I'm a supporting author, and I worked on the introduction portion. Hi, my name is Natasha Bud. I go to Monte Vista High School. I was in charge of the results and data analysis section, as well as the abstract portion of this research paper. My name is Mahika Rajadaya. I am a rising senior for High School, and I worked on the discussions and conclusions part for this research paper. My name is Anya. I go to Amador Valley High School and I help with the introduction. Cognitive computational neuroscience is an interdisciplinary field that combines cognitive science, neuroscience, and computer science to produce simulations that help us understand how the brain works. It uses advanced technology such as magnetoencephalography, MEG, and electroencephalography, EEG, to study brain activities and processes. These computational models simulate brain processes, showing how neurons work together to process information. This research not only helps us understand how the brain works, but also aids in understanding disorders and other bodily functions. Due to the advancements in artificial intelligence and machine learning, there have been many advancements in human health and technology. The work done in this field has benefited humans all over the world by providing important insights into brain processes. This is due to the research done by scientists as well as new important information on the process of organ. The uh, computer and scientists use these breakthroughs to cre create biologically influenced technology and AI systems. By combining real world experiments with computational models, scientists aim to uncover the fundamental principles that govern this thing. Summarizing and understanding the previous top articles on this topic provides us with vital information that can be used in any study. Bibliometrics allows us to do this along with using the R software program by using statistical analysis and providing information in a comprehensible way. This usage of bibliometric analysis highlights the prominence of the topics surrounding the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex controls and plays a big role in human cognition. It works in developing thought and provides signals for the brain. It's one of the main mysteries of our brain and is resonant with the top 100 cited studies on cognitive information science. We extracted um, 200 pieces of literature from the field of cognitive and computational science on the Web of Science website. Um, using Python, we created statistical graphs with criteria such as authors with two or more articles, top used words, most affiliations, etc. Um, we also wrote a data with Java to determine the number of times each topic was mentioned to um, establish relevancy. In mapping analysis, we created graphs with Google Sheets in Excel and used bibliometrics and our programming database. Um, to create a more complex mapping analysis graph. BiblioShiny was used to create graph space on our top 100 literatures. The analysis of the top 100 most cited articles in cognitive and computational neuroscience reveals the involvement of 83 different authors spanning various research topics. Notably, 12 of these authors, as shown in this figure, have contributed multiple articles towards the research in these prestigious categories. Author Carl J. Friston, a renowned British neuroscientist and theoretical physicist, is responsible for six of the cited articles in the top 100, attesting to a substantial influence on various projects and research programs in the field. This next figure shows the most used keywords within the 100 most cited articles. Th these articles were published between 1991 to 2019. Through this figure, we analyzed the keywords that were present in the 100 literatures to reveal trends and the similar subtopics within the overall topic of cognitive and computational neuroscience. According to this figure, the top four most used keywords were memory, alpha, cat visual cortex, and metabotropic glutamate receptor. To gather this data, we used the programming language 
Java, and using the data we found, we then transformed it into graphs using Google Sheets. This next figure shows a thematic map, which was used to connect keywords among all 100 works of literatures, and we found out that prefrontal cortex was the most common keyword connecting with the rest of them. We used bibliometrics, which is a component of our programming, by importing all 100 web of science links into the program, which then outputted this graph connecting all of the keywords with one another. The articles that were used were published between the 2000s and 2022. The following table, the top 25 most cited articles among the top 100, describes the characteristics of the top 100 articles, including the first author, the senior author, the year of publication, the article title, the journal source title, and the number of citations for each of the articles. The article Eigenfaces for Recognition had the most citations with 9,403 citations. The data for this table was extracted using Python, and the table itself was created using Excel. The figure above shows a pie chart consisting of the most apparent topics within the top 100 cited articles within Web of Science, as well as their respective frequencies. The chart indicates that the most prevalent topic is neuroscience with a frequency of 43.4% indicating the strong intricacies of the nervous system and brain function. Psychology is the second most frequent topic word, um, indicating the integration of psychological perspectives and understanding computational cognitive neuroscience. The outcomes of this research have, by using the top 100 articles, highlighted several trends across the realm of cognitive and computational neuroscience. Analyzing the top 100 articles in cognitive and computational neuroscience provides future researchers with access to the latest trends and current methodologies. Additionally, this paper provides opportunities for researchers to identify existing gaps in current neuroscience research. Changing our approaches to such problems can lead to new breakthroughs to further advancement in understanding brain behavior and anatomy. The figures and graphs in our research were created using bibliometric analysis from R, Java, and Python. Figure one illustrates that Carl J. Friston had six of his works cited and discussed in the top 100 most cited articles, highlighting that he's a very reliable source for neuroscience and neurology. Friston is a British neuroscientist and theoretical physicist and has pioneered studies of the human brain. He's an expert at combining physics and neuroscience to model neuroimaging data. For example, Friston created the free energy principle theory, which has since had large implications in and significantly contributed to understanding and modeling the brain. Our figure thus highlights that Friston is one of the most important and well-known scientists within the field of cognitive and computational neuroscience, along with others such as Desity and Bergius. Memory with the frequency of 9 was the most used keyword as shown in figure 2. The words metabotropic glutamate receptors, cat visual cortex, and alpha came in second place, each having a frequency of 8. This trend is predictable as all of these keywords are very closely related to the field of neuroscience, with metabotropic glutamate receptors, cat visual cortex, and alpha motor neurons are all different parts of the neurosystem, which most explains why they have the same frequency. In addition, prefrontal cortex was the word that tied all of the keywords together. It is related to many different words that revolve around the brain since it is the most evolved brain region. Finally, in figure five, the pie chart highlights that the most prevalent topic in neurosciences with a frequency of 43.4%, illustrating the importance of the nervous system and cognitive processes within the articles. The second most frequent topic is psychology, appearing in 29 of the 100 articles. There are numerous topics about science and technology, other topics, that are dominant among the top 100 most cited articles. Psychology is the study of the mind and its behavior, so it is very similar to the field of neurosciences, and this explains why they are both frequently mentioned within the articles. The trends and finding from findings from our research have provided us with an understanding of the famous scientists and methods within the field of cognitive and computational neuroscience. Similar bibliometric studies have provided insight and guidance to readers in the field of neuroscience, extracting data from the top 100 most cited articles. One such research paper that analyzed data in the same format, written by Young in 2017, took a bibliometric approach to the world of science data, and then created a citation network using VOS Viewer to group together topics and themes. 
the discussion placed an emphasis on neuroimaging, neurorehabilitation, and neurosurgery, which is a sharp contrast to the words we identify, such as memory, metropotropic glutamate receptors, and the cat visual cortex. By examining papers related to the top keywords identified in our research, we are able to look at other papers surrounding such topics to gain better insight into these areas of study. Another analysis was conducted in 2021 by authors Huang and Wei to emphasize the importance of working memory and its participation on, in complex tasks such as reasoning, understanding, and learning. Such findings corroborate our data extraction results of memory being the most frequent keyword found in the top 100 most cited articles in the, in the world of science data. Memory, short-term, long-term, and its cognitive properties is a growing area of research in neuroscience that has broadened scientists' perspectives on brain functioning. The role of memory in our cognitive landscape cannot be understated, suggesting the explanation for it being the most frequently used keyword. By continuing to analyze further research papers on such topics, researchers can make more educated predictions and claims surrounding the study of the brain. It's also important to look for possible sources of errors so that we can make improvements in future studies. Java programming was used to extract data from authors with two or more articles, as well as extracting data to obtain the 20 most frequently occurring keywords. The data was stored in an Excel sheet where R and Python programming was being used for data from different subsections. subsections. One source of error that temporarily came up during the extraction was a miscount for these types of data for these two sections, authors and keywords. The same author and keyword data came up multiple times, heavily influencing and negatively impacting the standard deviation and frequency count for each extracted data. An improvement for a future study would be to keep the procedure for the data extraction consistent, instead of using different programming platforms for one Excel. Though the extraction was a success, it would have been more smooth to extract the bibliometric data with a singular procedure. All right, thank you.